Hey guys, it's Cell CH Physics. Today we'll be talking about conservation of energy in orbits around the Earth. For this video I will be using a simulation, but unfortunately due to computational limitations some numbers will be off. But the point of this video is to explain the concepts. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is a basic low Earth orbit. It's perfectly circular. In an orbit there are two major points an apoapsis and periapsis. The apoapsis is the point in which the craft is highest above the Earth. You can see that the apoapsis has an altitude of 406,309 meters and a speed of 1,873.2 meters per second. As you can probably guess, the periapsis is the lowest point in the orbit. It's at 405,934 meters in altitude at 1,873.9 meters per second. We can actually calculate the energy the craft has in this orbit. First, we can get kinetic energy. It's defined as Ek equals 1 half mv squared. So we need mass and speed. That's easy. We can see that the craft weighs 15.81 tons. To get kilograms, we can multiply that number by 1,000 and get 15,810. Now for the speed. We can see here that our speed is 1,873.2 meters per second at the apoapsis. Great. Now we can calculate that the craft's energy kinetic is 27,737,682,487.2 joules. Now we need potential energy. It may seem unintuitive, but there still is gravity up here. If I had no velocity, I would fall back down. To calculate the potential energy, we can use this equation, energy potential equal mgh. I know that gravity changes slightly when at high altitudes, but for simplicity, and to get the point across, we'll use this. Our gravity is 9.81, or height is our altitude, apoapsis 406,309 meters and mass is the same as before. We can then enter these into our equation and find out energy potential is 63,016,941,294.9 joules. Now to find the total energy in our orbit, we just add them up. We can see that the total energy in the orbit is 90,754,623,782.1. Now to demonstrate a change in orbit and how energy is conserved, I'll make engine burn and we can see the energy change. In space, fuel is measured in delta V. This is defined as the change in speed. We can calculate that for our craft how many joules each delta V equals. We can plug in our mass and one delta V and get 7,905 joules. So we can see that if I made a 50 delta V burn, I would gain 395,250 joules, since that's just 7,905 times 50. It'll do a burn that says, as close possible to 50 delta V, and see how close I get. I ended up gaining 49.8 meters per second, pretty close. So in reality I gained 393,669. Now we can see that out orbit has changed. We can see that our periapsis is more or less the same as before, but the apoapsis is much different. As you can see, the apoapsis is pushed up when I burn the correct direction. We can now fill out the equations for energy kinetic and energy potential again to find our new orbit energy. We can see that it's now 98,605,591,921.35. Taking the difference, we see that the orbit changes in energy by 78509681.39 joules. That does seem like a lot, but that's because of the simulation inaccuracies I mentioned earlier. But in real life, it would be the same as the energy from the 50 delta V. So, except for simulation inaccuracies, we see that the energy in the system is conserved. One additional observation we can make is that our speed and altitude changes throughout the orbit now. How will this affect our energy? You can see that at the apoapsis our velocity is lower than the periapsis, but the altitude is higher. We can test to make sure that our energy is the same throughout by testing at three points, the apoapsis, the periapsis, and halfway between them. 
So, I'm filling out the numbers for all three locations, and you can see that the ratio between the energy kinetic and E potential is not the same, but it always adds up to a very similar total all three times. Again, this would be the exactly the same in real life. So, as you can see, energy in orbits may shift around from chemical to kinetic or potential, or even back and forth, but the total always stays the same. Thank you for watching LCH video on the physics of orbits and energy. Have a great day.